everybody. Welcome to another sensational session of Strike Accord Live podcast with my dear brother, Colin Harbour. He's right there in Dallas, Fort Worth, Texas. I'm Marcus Ellis. I'm here in Pensacola, Florida. Colin, why don't you tell him who we are? We are two lifelong friends with a love of baseball, music, motivation, and inspiration mixed with a little bit of nostalgia, culture, transformation, and fun. And we want you to take the journey with us. This is Strike a Chord Live Podcast. Good morning, brother. Sounded good to me. I, did it yeah. do the wobbly? Did it do it the LP not. thing? It okay. did not. It didn't sound like we had our finger on the record. You know, remember we used to do that? I do. I remember it. I uh, They were talking yesterday on the radio here in Dallas, one of the stations, about how many uh, records are still sold, you know, annually. In the well, United did States. you know that last year uh, records for the first time in decades exceeded the sales of CDs, a compact disc? That's hilarious. Yeah. CDs. <laughs> you know, I remember one time I asked my grandmother for money for CDs, and she was like, oh, I will take you to the bank, baby. And... <laughs> Well, I, I mean, remember the the I remember when I, my first Walkman, my first yeah. Sony Walkman. I mean, yeah. that thing was awesome. And it I was. think the first uh, Hotel California was the first. Uh, uh, oh man, I love that Walkman. That thing was awesome. That's great, man. Well, good morning, man. Today, everybody, it is May nineteenth, twenty twenty three, and we are so grateful to have you here. We love you. We see you. We appreciate you. And especially all you guys on the hashtag replay, watching it and listening on the replay. We love you. We appreciate you. Thank you for pulling up. Man, Colin, we have an incredible session today. Something that both of us know a lot about. Uh, We may or may not have a guest. We're having trouble getting her in, and I'm not sure why. Um, But, man, let's talk about personal branding, right? Something that you want to know a lot about. Let's talk about it. I can't get my white undershirt straight. Hold on. It's driving me crazy because of the reflection thing. It's like every time I think I'm going to that time, I may have to do. No. Uh, yeah. Personal branding. Personal branding is so important. Um, I've talked about it on Harbor Time before. I've talked about it. I, I, re, I actually, quote unquote, study a lot about it on LinkedIn and Instagram and YouTube um, with people who are true experts in the field. Not that we're not experts but people who uh, dedicate their profession and are, are, are really dedicated to the craft of personal branding, right? Um, th- there's there's one girl, I think her name is Mandy, Mandy Mod Girl Marketing. I, I don't know, but she talks a lot on LinkedIn. She does a lot of videos and just personal branding is is key. I actually had a uh, a lady on Harvard Time before, uh, Ole, Olis. I, I can never get her first name right. Um, she was from... Um, Estonia. Oh and wow! She was a person, a, a personal branding expert, and we talked all about it. And I was just so worried I was going to butcher her first name. I'm not going to try to say it right now. But the point is, there are a lot of experts on personal branding. There are a lot of people talking about it. There's a lot of reasons you need to think about your personal brand and then your online brand, right? Yeah. Well, I mean, you. In the first of all, I'd like to acknowledge Peggy Gossman. We love you, uh, Shelly Jean. We love you. Good to see here you, Shelly Jean's been a guest of ours a uh, bunch on Strike Accord. We love you. We see you. Thank you so much. But you already mentioned it. I mean, in the first sentence, you said I talked about this on Harbor Time Live po- Harbor Time podcast. Harbor Time is your brand, right? It is kind of yeah. I mean, it's part of the brand, right? right. Ultimately, but- yeah. Well, I'm going to put you on the spot. What do you think your brand is, your personal brand is? Well, you are putting me on the spot and I haven't oh, really yeah, given yeah. too much. What's that? And wait, hold on. Let's just, let's, let's tell the fine folks what we feel a personal brand is. What do we believe personal brand is? Right. Um, man, I mean, we're all unique, special individuals, right? We all have our unique talents and gifts. Good morning, Ryan Little. I love you, man. I hope to see you today, bro. Um, you know, <laughs> Your personality is different from mine, right? We all have these things. So uh, a personal brand, uh, I would hope, includes your values, uh, your beliefs. Uh, Colin, I know you like to throw your achievements in. Um, and we have our guests coming in right now. Let's let's just stop for a second and introduce our dear sister, 
Danny hey. Smith is here. I love you. Good to see you. What's happening, What's sister? What's happening? I haven't been here in so long. You all excite me. You really do. <laughs> Colin Harbor, what up? What up? What up? How's it going? How I'm are you? So, I'm doing fine. Thank you. It's so great Good. to see both of you. Yeah, it's great to great. see you. Yeah. Well, we're talking about personal brands, and I think we can dovetail that into what you're doing, uh, Danny. Oh, so yeah. I'm I was uh, putting out sort of a definition, a description of a personal brand. And I was talking about that it's, you know, first of all, your personality, your values, your beliefs. But then, Colin, you know, it's your achievements. Danny, it's your achievements. It's the, it's the things you've done. So, Danny, I'm going to put you on the spot. What is your personal brand? How do you, uh, I mean, you, you got your hands on a lot of stuff like Colin and I do. How do you put, describe yourself? How do you put that out there to the people? So the first thing is authenticity, right? Um, like just be who you are, just whoever you are. Like no one can personal brand you if you don't personal brand yourself by just being authentic, right? Mm -hmm. So uh, no one can 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 fake Danny Smith Mathis. Like, oh, I'm, I'm <laughs> like nobody can step in my shoes, right? <laughs> nobody probably would want to anyway. But but I'm just saying, you know. So you know, you don't. Know, it's like being a parent. And, and if you haven't been a parent, it's like just doing something for the first time, right? You don't know what it's really about. You just jump in because right. either you have to or you want to, right? So personal branding is a combination of both of those things as far as I'm concerned. Some of us have to do certain things to make ends meet. And then we like doing certain things just because we like doing certain things, right? That's right. That's whether, right. whether it makes ends meet or not. <laughs> so when That's you can- true. When you combine those two things and the energy of those two things, right? The have to and the I don't really have to, and I just want to, and you just kind of figure yourself out. Personal branding to me was just figuring myself out. And and it evolves, it changes, right? Because my interests change, my passions change. So can I talk about what I'm doing right now? Yeah, let's do it. Come on. Is that okay? Come on. So, so I am a board member of a um a think tank. Um, that was um, uh, created off of Clubhouse, but then brought to Clubhouse called You Think Indigo, right? And it's really out of the box thinking. In fact, it's not even out of the box thinkers. It's out of the side of the box, outside of the box thinkers, okay? Wow. And so there's such thing called indigo children. You can look it up and all of that. It's it's it, 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 it's its own discussion, right? So we're not sure. here to discuss that. But um, I, uh, as a board member, I wanted to bring and raise funds for this because this think tank is going to Accra, Ghana, and they're going to Ghana to take innovative technologies and thought leadership to Accra, Ghana. And so I was like, how am I going to raise money for this? And we needed to do it kind of quickly. So I just decided I would look for competitions that I could um, that I could, number one, enter without any fees. Number two, enter just because it made sense because of who I am and my, 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 my personal story as a mom. So I'm in the 2023 Super Mom competition. And I'm in that because when I looked at what it was, what that competition was raising funds for, it's the Children's Miracle Network Hospitals. Right. which serve millions of children across the United States and Canada. And, and what that hospital network does in a, in a nutshell is when you're a parent or a grandparent or a caregiver of a child that has critical care medical needs and you their Medicaid and their private insurance doesn't cut it, Children's Miracle Network hospital funds, which we're trying to raise those funds, those donations for, they cut that. They make right. that they 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 bridge that gap, that financial gap that parents, grandparents, caregivers just don't have. And and I mean, you know, and, and the funny thing was in, in, in the providence of me looking for this for for another organization, it is now helping another organization. And at the end of the day, if I win and when I win, it will help me because guess what? Danny was in that situation, not for critical care, not for my children, but I have medical expenses during COVID that when I was out of work, I didn't have any insurance. And so I've got my own things piling up. Right. Wow. And um, as a responsible person, I want to continue to, um, you know, pay my debts. Well, Colin, so, what I hear Danny saying is her personal brand is service. Mm -hmm. Well, I, I think it was interesting too, that, that the, there, there's a couple of things, authenticity, Right. That, which which hopefully we'll talk more about that. But then your personal brand is kind of what you want to do, 
plus what you have to do, right? Yes. So what yes. you want to do plus what you have to do equals your personal brand. I don't. And real know. quick, Danny, would you in the comments drop your link for your yeah, competition? I'm, I'm, I'm actually looking for it right now, and I'm going to see what place I'm in. So I'm currently in second place. There's um, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. But but listen, that's that's the, let's not get too excited about that. And here's why: because only the first place finalists in the quarterfinals advance to semis, and only the first place from semis advance to finals, and only the first place from finals get the grand prize. That's right. So, we need to get you right. to first place because second place is just the first loser. That's yep. exactly right. So I'm getting ready to give me a minute. I'm going to drop all that in there for you and uh, you'll get it in two seconds. Uh, matter of fact, hey, um, the, the easier way might be. Um, let me just uh, give this to you, Mark, because. OK, I'll do it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Too. I'm a little so, challenged right here. I'm just a little challenged right can here. Can y'all guess my personal brand? <laughs> I'm not even going to try to. Uh, man, encouragement everybody. and love. Everywhere I go, people yeah. are like, I love you, man. There goes yeah. the idea. That is you. That is you. Oh. I mean, you're so much. There you go. I just sent it to you in Messenger. So you right, perfect. I, I will uh put this thing up one way or another. Yeah. Uh, and so let me let me let me just make this very clear. On, there are two on. ways to vote. There are two ways that to vote. Fun. And votes, votes are either free daily, that's it, and that's a vote for Danny. But the hero votes are the ones that take Danny over the threshold. And um, those are tax deductible donations that actually go to the organization. Nice. There are there are organizations behind this organizations that have put this together that are dedicated to just designing competitions to help people. This is one of them. Wow. Nice. And so does does the money like does each dollar count as one vote or is it each time somebody contributes? To yeah. yeah. So so there are like if you. Um, you can uh, if you contribute some days, there's two for one. So, for instance, um, this past Tuesday, I think it was um, people were just voting like crazy because every vote counted as two. So if you put in fifty dollars, that was 100 votes. Two for Tuesday. OK. All right. Yeah, yeah. We'll so and, and it doesn't happen every Tuesday. They kind of do it randomly. So you kind of got to catch it. So we caught it and 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 people were just swarming, swarming, swarming. So, um, yeah, it's. It, it's it's kind of like house. Taco Tuesday isn't every Tuesday, but we're happy <laughs> when it is because we get tacos, you know. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. Well, I just so. dropped the link there and uh, if folks would uh, test it out for us and try it and let us know. Uh, but, yeah, I've been going and voting for Danny. And here's the thing, too. Um, let's say you're like, man, I, you know, I'm just not down with throwing any money right now. You can insert your credit card and they don't charge you. And Danny gets right. two votes for so yes, and you do that daily. You can do that daily, yeah. every twenty-four hours, every twenty-four hours, and that really, really helps. It it, it really, really helps. You know, I've been um, doing that so, for multiple credit cards. So I, I've come in so different credit cards. <laughs> uh, so data gets two votes at a time. Um, thank but you it, so much. It's Mark. vital. You know, it's vital to support first of all people that we believe in, and then secondly, people that are providing a service to others. And I know Danny that because I know you. That's been your life mission is to serve people, first of all, your children, and then yes. coming in to serve others. Yeah, and, and Mark, I think you may have to redo the link because if you don't have the HTTP in front of that, it won't work. It won't work. Okay, yeah. I'll, so I, got I, got I can't copy and paste. Oh, yes, I can. What am I doing? <laughs> yeah, I keep going. Yeah, I can. <laughs> Let's try yeah, this can. one more time. <laughs> you know what I can do because I'm on Facebook, so here we go. All right, let's yeah, keep yeah. going. So okay, go. There you go, there you go. All right, y'all try right. that link out now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Try that link. And I'll, and I'll keep dropping it in other places. Um, thank you, thank you. Might have to cut it and paste it in the browser for it to work. I don't know if it's, it's clickable right there. I'm, I'm not able to click on it. You know what? On my phone, it looks like it. It lights up blue, so you can click it. You can yeah, copy. Yeah, paste absolutely. It. Absolutely. So if it does work. It works. Awesome. Well, your, your support means everything. So, Colin, let's, let's dig a little deeper into this. You know, why do we feel like it's important? to have a personal brand you know what 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 if somebody says well i mean i'm just me why do i have to put that out there yeah well uh, well first of all i want to delineate everybody has a brand right or, right or everybody has a now what and then what you said is putting it out there right so those are two different things you have a personal brand whether you put it on social media or not you have a personal brand if you're just on facebook looking at other people's pictures, right? And and what you put out there. So you've got a personal brand. The question is to me more, how do you put your personal brand out there? What are you trying? 
trying to achieve with it. For instance, LinkedIn, you know, people are trying to achieve certain things, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, so forth and so on. But I, I, I still think if, if we have a chance to talk about it more is the authenticity piece. Like yeah. so many people, so many people try to be like others in their personal brand, uh -huh. online personal brands. And I think they're missing the boat, right? They're missing yeah. the boat. So um, a lot of people try to be like, you know, we've talked about him before, Gary Vaynerchuk, right? Gary V. Mm -hmm. A lot of people, I'm going to be like Gary V on social media. Well, no, you're not. You're going to look like a fool if you are. Because <laughs> Gary V is authentic. He's authentic. That's what he's not acting, right? He doesn't have to act. That's just how he is. It's just mm -hmm. how he is. High energy, cusser, you know, pretty smart, big marketing guy, all that. He's not like thing. me. Yeah. <laughs> what? What? All of this. <laughs> All of those things. So don't try to be like him. Don't try to be like others. Be yourself and yeah. then figure out how to use it, right? How do you use it for if you're involved with a charity, if you're promoting something for your family, if you're trying to get business, if you're providing content to others to help them, right? It's yeah. it's about authenticity and it's about how to use it. Well, what I love about you, Danny, is, man, what you see is what you get. There, there is no fluff. <laughs> and my sister, Danny Smith, not there. I mean, it is what you see is what you get. So, I, Danny, what I feel like, you know, a personal brand allows me to control the narrative of my reputation. Okay, let's stop right there. I want to okay. show you pictures worth a thousand words. Okay, right. walk with me for a minute. Just walk right, with me. Good. So, here I am. So, this is my first book that I co authored, right? The first book, oh, I I love that book. I ever co authored. There are 13 of us in this book that told our story on domestic violence, being domestic oh. violence survivors. OK, so in here is the Danny Smith Mathis story. Um, it looks like this with my children. And, and you can see it. it's the book. Danny Smith Mathis story. OK, so where does that go from there? Then I co-authored my next book. My next book was called Shut Them Down. Black Women Racism. Oh. Shut them down. Black women, racism in corporate America. What's the correlation? The correlation now for me is that the domestic abuse that and the violence that I experienced in my home is the same type of abuse that I experienced in corporate America. Come on. And so then I co-authored uh, my third book, which is basically like, you know how when you're in a relationship, you say, oh, I'm in a relationship. So the shut them down was telling you about the relationship. This is like, okay, what just happened? Really? You know? And so this is my chapter in here is called um, Silence of the Soil. And it's basically uh, two pages about what just happened. And it's a synopsis of what I experienced. And then it's a synopsis of all the things that I call corporate hate crimes that, mm -hmm. and, and the connection between domestic violence and corporate abuse. And so that is me. That is what evolved. And that is how I got to all of this because I was just listening to what was going on with me. I didn't say, okay, I'm going to, you know, uh, do these three books. I had no idea right. these things were going to be part of my journey. Man. Well, so man, there's so many different avenues we can take here, but these are your experiences in life. This is something yes. that you've gone through that you yes. suffered through You've come out on the other side. Yes. So what is the target? What 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 are you in, in your heart? What is what is the target? What are you accomplishing by sharing your story? Because we all know your mess is your message, right? Yes. So so what you accomplish is number one, you don't really know half the time because mm -hmm. your life is your testimony, right? Mm -hmm. Your life mm -hmm. is your testimony. So I always think about like if God were to write a chapter in the Bible on me, if there was a Bible uh, book in the Bible, Danny Smith Mathis, like there's John and there's Matthew and there's Matthew, Mark, Luke and John. What if there was a Danny? What would how would that chapter read? Oh, my goodness. How would that chapter? That's read? that is such an interesting question. I've never uh, I've never thought of that question. That is, so uh, you know what? That's horrifying. That scares me. <laughs> <laughs> How would your chapter read in the Bible? Oh my goodness. I mean, that's a mic drop moment right there. That is, that actually is. I mean, that is, that is such a good. So answer the question, Danny. So my, so my chapter would read much like Peter's. 
because I doubted a whole lot. I, I just like, man, sometimes I felt like I was walking on water and then all of a sudden I take my eye off of it, right? And I'm down, you know? Um, um, I'm sure there were times in my life when I denied Christ and uh, maybe even not knowingly, but, and not intentionally, but at, I, like, I can't think of one. Oh yeah. Like, I'm just going to say, no, nah, I don't know that man, you know, but right. can you can but, but, but think about this, your actions can do that. You don't have to say it. You can do it by your actions. You can do it by your actions. When you come outside of the, what you know to be the will of God, because the book of James says is he to know he who knows what to do right and does not do it is sin. That is denying Christ. Right. Boom. I'm just saying. <laughs> I know. And so I've done that. So, so, so mine probably would be just a culmination. And I think that's, you know, for me personally, why the Bible for me is such a book of service because it serves to show me who I really am. Well, I'm really going to put you on the spot now. What do you pray for? What do I pray for? Yeah. I pray that my two grandsons would come to know the Lord early in life. I pray that my um, children and my, 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 my married son and his wife, my unmarried son, my unmarried daughter, who is a single mom and myself, who is a single mom and who is a single grandson will stay pure. And I pray that my sons will continue to know what it means to struggle to be men of God. And I pray that my daughter and I would continue to be to continue to struggle to know what it means to be women of God. That is what I pray for. Wow. It's so strong, Colin. It is. It's that's uh, that it's good. I'm I'm Every a little bit morning. humbled here by a couple Every of the, the the words and the the thoughts and some of the ideas even that are going around. Well, it, as long as we take that service minded heart. Yes. To the streets, you know, to 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 quote Michael McDonald, we're taking it to the streets, baby. You know, it, we're we're there's so many people out there that are less fortunate than us. Absolutely. Yeah. That's exactly what I'm doing. I, you know, I didn't care. I had no care or concern. And what I mean by that is not that I don't care about children that need critical care. I didn't have that personal experience. So when you take on a, a fundraiser to raise money for something you have no knowledge of. To me, I have a responsibility now because I've taken this on and I want to win this competition, not just for a grand prize. I really want to say I was the top fundraiser for the Children's Miracle Network through this competition in 2023. And so that makes that's what makes me super mom. Wow. Well, uh, Colin, you've heard it here first. Danny Smith Mathis is going to be the number one fundraiser for the Children's Miracle Network in 2023. It's going to happen. She's going to win. It's, and I mean, she's it. speaking it into existence. We've done that's sessions it. on that. Uh, that man, I'm on fire already, Colin. Yeah, Mark, you're getting Marcus fired up, Danny. Way to go. He needed some help because he wakes up usually without any energy and just trying to figure out what he's going to do for the day. Well, I mean, some days I did. You know, it was hard this morning at four thirty. I was like, "Oh Lord, give me some strength." Give yes, some strength. Lord. Every day, every day, every day, every yeah. day. Hey, listen, we're all in God's waiting room. So if you don't want to, if you don't want to believe that, you're gonna miss the boat. Yeah, well, I, I was um, at a property yesterday with a potential buyer, and uh, we got into this discussion. And he was, you know, he was like, "But there's a lot of people there who are, who are good people, but." When they get there, does Jesus know them? Do you know Jesus? Does he know you? And I know I'm confident the three of us are in that boat because yeah. I pray every morning and it's become a habit is God, show me who to serve today. Whether that be a business, whether that be somebody on the street corner, whether that be somebody in the grocery store. And what's amazing about it, it doesn't end up being one person. <laughs> yeah. Oh, absolutely. This one, no. this one, this one, this one. And it's not that I'm so great but it's that I'm conscious enough to answer the call that I've been chosen to do this. And it's just that service minded heart, you know, and that's what all three of us have. We're all in the service industry. Yes. Yes, absolutely. Hey, y'all have that little nice little, 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 little subtitle under your names. How do I do that too? How you can, you can drop that in there. You got to, I don't know if she has to go back out. Uh, hit the three little dots there. Hit the three dots and it says edit name and headline and put something in on the headline. So your little Where picture down there at the bottom. 
My little so picture you, down. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Three dots. You can put that little thing in there. Three dots. Where's the three dots? All right, never mind. Go ahead, y'all go ahead. Well, there's there, there's a little microphone right. It should be a little microphone right above your head on on the on the uh, the picture. <laughs> I'm just thinking about the people listening to this on replay. <laughs> I, got, I got right. Oh, what? I got you. Okay, y'all go ahead. I figured it out. Go oh, ahead. I didn't mean the headline. You got to put your headline in there, DSM. Yeah, you got to yeah, do it. Yeah, yeah. I got it. So, I got it. I got it. So, oh, go ahead, Mark. Go no, ahead. I want you to talk. No, no, I want you to talk. You haven't got well, enough words out, Mark. Question, no, you know? <laughs> no, no, you talk. You talk. We're talking about personal branding and taking it to the streets and bringing it out there. We're talking about authenticity. So when, there you go. She's got her link right there underneath her name. I love it. So when you go out there and you're wearing a mask, man, people can tell in an instant. They can tell if you're faux real or they can tell if you got a mask on. And I just want to encourage everybody, like Bruce Pulver dropped it in the comments a little bit ago. Let's look at it. Uh, man, I, we had a great session with Bruce on Wednesday. He said, personal brand equals B plus you. Be you, baby. Be authentic. Go, Go out there. Yeah, be yourself. There's so mm -hmm. many. Here's the thing that's the that's come up with this amazing technology we've had and the social media stuff. I mean, Colin and I would not have done this, Danny, if we didn't have this technology. Because when he moved away in 1985, all we had was landline phones. And then if you lost a piece of paper with your buddy's name on it, you lost contact. We lost contact for 30 years. And all of a sudden, here we are back because of this amazing digital medium that we have. Mm -hmm. But the problem with this new digital medium is that so many people see somebody else and they try to be a Grant Cardone or they try to be a Gary Vanderchuk. And man, I don't want to be anybody else but who God made me, you know? Yeah. Yeah, and, and I'm yeah. always it's no, fun. Really, it's no fun. It's no fun yeah. trying to be somebody else. Be you, right? I've always been the freak in the room, and I'm cool with that. I've always had long hair, tattoos, been outgoing, energetic, randomly <laughs> talking to people. You know, uh, I say it often. My my wife and my kids, when we go out, they're just like, "Oh my gosh, he's doing it again." They didn't know that person is <laughs> talking to him. You know, <laughs> it happened last night at uh, the amazing Golden Palace, right? The every three days at this place, yeah. you know, but, yeah. but that's my authentic self. That's my jam. Mm -hmm. That's what I do. That's how, that's what Colin does. That's what Danny does. So folks, your personal brand is you. Don't <laughs> trust somebody else. Don't wear a mask of Gary Vanderchuk. Don't be Colin Harbour or Danny Smith Mathis. Be yourself, baby. Right? That's right. Be yourself, baby. Be yourself. Yeah. I think it's Vanderchuk and I think you're saying Vanderchuk. Uh, I don't care. <laughs> I don't know the guy. How do you say it? Banner chat. Hey, I get texts from him all the time. You know, you can sign up and you get like <laughs> text and, and uh, then you're like, oh yeah, me and Gary V. He's texting. But does Gary V know you? <laughs> oh, he's texting me? I don't know what makes you think he doesn't know me. You don't text people you don't know. Yeah, right? Yeah, you're right. See, that's authentic right there. Colin, like, if you don't know me, why are you texting me? Why are you texting me, Gary V? Let's go have some wine or something, you know? I don't um, know. No, but but Mark, I'm sorry. I, I made Mark okay. mad. I shouldn't have said oh, he, he, I like how he thinks he's <laughs> mad. I'm not mad. So we got two minutes left. So, Danny, how can we serve you? We have the links in there. We've talked about what we need people to do, but how can people find you? How, where are yeah. your social media lanes? How can people reach out? Because I know yeah. a lot of people watching this and listening to this right now is like, I want to hug up to her. I want to talk yeah. to her. Right. Here's the thing. If you really want to know me right now, I mean, or like the like the, the 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 latest skinny, go to that link because when you go to the link for the super mom, it's a whole profile about me. You can see all my kids, you can see my grandkids, you can see all the photos I've uploaded. Um, I am social media everywhere: Danny Smith Mathis, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, uh, LinkedIn. So if you just put that in, you'll find me. You'll find me everywhere. And that's also my um, my website is www.dannysmithmathis.com. So if you spell Danny right, D-A-N-N with an E, and you put in the Smith Mathis, then you'll find me everywhere. But please, right now, how you can serve me is by um, donating tax deductible donations to the um, Children's Miracle Network through the Supermom competition, through that link that I have that Mark also put in. But please go to that link. 
get the get the do the hero votes they're tax deductible they you know whatever you want you know it, it is what it is so um i just would i just would really really appreciate you all knowing that there are people even if you haven't had critical care needs for your child there are people who need that help uh you know i, I dropped the link in there again so that it's live um but, you know, I've experienced those things in the, in the short amount of time we've had. Um, you know, I've volunteered at the Ronald McDonald House. We have one here uh, next to Sacred Heart Hospital where families can be supported while their children are going through things. And I, th I believe that's the same thing as the Children's yes. Miracle Network. Yes. It's the same thing. So, mm -hmm. you know, let's let's look at it this way. First of all, donate from the goodness of your heart to support our dear sister here. But then walk away knowing that you've done something for a multitude of people. That's right. Across now, the United States and Canada, by the way. That's amazing. And, and, and you know, we in that service aspect, that, that service heart that we have, it doesn't matter who it gets to, what they do with it, how they do it. All that matters is that we provide an opportunity for somebody to survive, thrive, and live a, a good life. Absolutely. Absolutely. That's yeah, great. I mean, and, and we're fortunate to be here to be able to talk about it, right? Yeah. Many people just, you know, just don't have the the, the physical wherewithal to, to even do what we're doing. I mean, we, we take a lot for granted, you know. There are people right now who are trying to figure out how am I going to get my child the, the rest of the care that they need because the insurance ran out. Just, you know, that's that's the top of the day for somebody yeah, I mean, right now. Yeah. So and that's a major takeaway is gratitude. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, that's a major takeaway for, for the end of it, Danny, is gratitude. Service and gratitude. Service and I mean, gratitude. I do wake up and pray that I thank God for making me me. I love that's me. Right. That's exactly <laughs> right. right. I'm so that's grateful. Exactly right. We are all. That, we are all made in his image. Yeah. It's amazing. Amen. He made everyone different. Every single person is different. Nobody's got the same fingerprints. Nobody's got the same eyes. It is amazing. Oh, it is. Man, we're talking con authenticity. <laughs> man, we're talking service. We're talking gratitude. What you got in closing, man? No, I, 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 all of those things. And I know there's a personal branding probably makes a lot of people nervous. But again, in, in conclusion, you have a personal brand. And quite frankly, somebody's personal brand may be, I don't like putting a lot of stuff out there because yeah. I don't need to or I don't have to. That's okay too. That's okay too. How about <laughs> you don't that? Have part? to do it just because Mark, Colin, and Danny say that you do. No, just just because we're comfortable with it, right? Just because right. we're everybody's not comfortable with it. But I still think just that authenticity piece is so key, and it's something that I've come to realize over the course of time. And I do think most of the people that I follow on you know LinkedIn or or. Uh, Instagram, or I guess, and, and Facebook for me is more of a friends thing, but the, the, the professional people that I follow, um, I think they're being authentic. I could be wrong. I know there's probably a little bit of promotion and production into it, yes. but it's mostly authentic. And those are the people I'm, I'm more interested in and I listen to and watch. Amen. Amen. Right. So good. Well, Danny, right. thank you. Thank you. Thank you for pulling up and being here with us again. We'd love to have you again. It's been too long. That was, that was too long a stretch. It's all right. Timing is no, everything. it's been a while. It's yeah, been a while. Been a while. But I really appreciate you. You guys get those hero votes in because somebody needs you. Yes, get the votes in. Thank you. All so right. Much. Take care. Thank you. thank you so much for being here with us with uh Strike Accord Live Podcast. We will back here be uh, we will be back here on Wednesday with another sensational session. We love you guys. We're out. Peace and chicken grease. Fearfully and wonderful pain. Hey, you are.